All right, guys, here we are. Economic Ninja with a totally different idea for a video. This is gonna be more than just a economics video, uh, an idea video where I, I wanna be able to inspire you to uh, become self-sufficient financially and prepare for these crazy times ahead, right? Even if you think we're in crazy times now, 2021 is gonna have its own issues. So in normal fashion, I wanna be a little ahead, ahead of the curve. And guys, I'm going to do a 90-day weight loss challenge with myself, nobody else. Originally, I was going to set it up with some other people, and I couldn't get a lot of uh, uh, buy-in. And so what I want to do is I want to use you, my subscribers, as my motivation to keep this going for this entire 90 days. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually starting tomorrow. So tomorrow is day one of 90, but I'm actually going to put this video out today. I'm going to do my weigh-in behind me so you guys can see how much I weigh in at. And then once a week or maybe twice a week, I'll do a video on um, how I'm feeling, changes, what my diet is, and things like that. Now, to give you an idea of my background when it comes to health and fitness, it's not good, all right? I've always been a big guy. However, a couple times in my life, I have dropped 40 or 50 pounds um, to, because I was really motivated to lose weight, and then I'd sink right back into it. I'd like to stop that, but I can't. I don't have a crystal ball, you know? This last year obviously had a lot of challenges uh, business-wise for me, and so I fell into a light, I, I, you could call it a light depression, but I just ate like crazy, I drank like crazy, you know, lots of beer, I do like my martinis, and I gotta cut that out. So obviously my health has suffered, I've packed on 30 extra pounds. So I'm gonna tell you my goals right now, and I want to use, I want you to use this hopefully as motivation. And if you know of anybody that's doing a challenge, um, you know, has a New Year's resolution set uh, for 2021 and wants to lose weight and get in great shape, then please, by all means, share this with them so that I can uh, inspire them as well, okay? So I'm gonna do a couple things. We're gonna do the weigh-in real quick. I'm gonna talk, and then I'm gonna do uh, what's starting of the push-up challenge in front of you guys. I wanna try and stay vulnerable in front of you guys and be real because to be honest with you guys, I know that we can't make real change or enact real change on this earth unless we are real ourselves, okay? So um, I'm gonna do the weigh-in, I'm gonna bring you with me. So sorry for the jiggling. All right. It's like you're right here with me. Don't mind the three chins. I'm like a Chinese phone book right now. And to anybody, <laughs> there's, uh, come on. All right, here we go, here we go, here's the official. I'm moving, I'll try and stop moving. 246.8 pounds. It is official. I'm overweight. All right, so here's the deal. I'm gonna put you guys up on your little thing. For the next 90 days, I'm gonna commit to working out here and at my house. And, um, and I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do intermittent fasting and I'm gonna have an eating window of approximately four hours a day where I'm gonna, st I'm gonna go for it. However, I'm gonna stay as, as close to the keto diet as possible, okay, so low carbs. Now, last time I did this, I uh, lost 40 pounds in uh, nine weeks, and it was actually quite amazing, and it was actually quite easy once you get past that first week or two. Um, honestly, guys, I have not worked out, done a single push-up, anything, for almost a year now. So what you're about to see with the push-ups is gonna be brutal. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do to kick this off, to start this whole thing, is I'm gonna do what's called the 30-day push-up challenge. And so that means for 30 days solid, I'm gonna do 100 push-ups a day. I'm gonna try and do them as fast as I can to get through them so that I get the most uh, benefit out of it. And then you're, I'm gonna be able to show you right now what it looks like. Um, just trying to do as many as I can in one, one uh, stretch and then I'll show you at the end of the day 30 okay um, I'm also going to be uh, using a lot of apple cider vinegar and um, I've got a couple of tricks that I've used in the past that worked really good for me and I'm going to share those with you guys in subsequent videos and uh, yeah please feel free to ask any questions you want um, I'll be brutally honest with you guys because I really do believe that this is going to be something because let me let me tell you another reason why I want to do this 
I believe that this next year with the cryptocurrency market, with my companies that I'm running, I am going to need all of the energy I can get. I am going to need to work my body out so that I have fresh, oxygen-rich blood running through my, my brain all of the time. I'm going to need to go to as much muscle fatigue as I can, not only to build new muscle, to burn fat, but also to get the most out of my sleep time, okay? When you're out of uh, shape, you tend to sleep worse and you... Uh, also have like with me, higher anxiety, higher anger, you know, I'm, I'm faster to snap and get ticked off. So I wanna change that. And I've also noticed when I lose weight, uh, I have a lot more peace, all right? I obviously don't have a problem in the confidence area, um, especially when we go bra shopping, right? Come on, come on, can I get a little smile out of that one? Uh, but I do wanna change those things about me. I've never really been too upset, or at least when I got older, uh, my confidence definitely uh, took over when uh, you know I'd get made fun of. Um, in the industry that I work in, obviously, guys like to razz each other, so I'm totally used to it. I got a thick skin. However, um, it sounds funny, but when I did get in a, a really good shape in the past, I noticed uh, the obvious way that people treated me differently. That actually hurt my feelings, not because they were now nicer to me, but it was sad to know that, you know, honestly, guys, uh, people treat people in good shape differently than they treat people in worse shape. And so if we're talking economics and, and trying to climb corporate ladders and trying to get the best relationships we can, the sad truth is you are easier to approach sometimes or a lot of times when you have more confidence, your shoulders are back, you're in good shape, let's say. And remember, looks aren't what you see in the face. Looks are the reaction that you put out it's it's a it's a vibe it's an you know people use the word aura but it's an energy you know so just remember beauty is not our looks beauty is our our life what we put out our smile a smile will kill all kinds of bad things in this world so i don't get too poetic on you i'm just trying to put off the push-ups so without further ado we're gonna do this okay all right here we go now, feel free to do this alongside of me if you want to feel really good about yourself, because I can guarantee you, nine out of 10 of you are going to beat me, all right? 